Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create maze generator system in Houdini without using very complex code. So I saw this tutorial here. It is about how we can create maze generator in Houdini, but using the VIX. In fact, here there are some code, and uh, it is not easy code. In fact, it is a little bit complicated. I don't know me. For me, I feel it is a little bit complicated one. So what I will show you, I will show you how we can create, as I told you, maze without code, in very simple, easy way. And by the way, this is awesome tutorial. You can check, and you can see how this maze generator created with the VIX. So let me show you how we can create it without any code or without using very complex code. So basically what I will start from grid, as you can see here it is a grid, and uh, it is just simple pointers. What I will do, I will divide those pointers using the rand function inside this node here, the triangle, as you can see. I am using the rand function, rand with seed and with the btnum. If it is bigger than the threshold, and uh, the threshold here it is 0 0.5 as you can see. So in this case, give this point is normal on the x-axis. In fact, in the positive x-axis. And for those pointers, again, uh, so basically let me just explain what I'm doing here. So here, I'm taking the health of the pointers and give it on the x, uh, sorry, give it on the x-axis this normal what I am doing I am using again this rand function here as you can see but this time the seed is different as you can see here 17.72 but here it is 13.22 and give it again normal but this time in the minus x so this one on the positive x and this one on the minus x I am doing the same thing here for those points here, the other point is the health. But uh, keep in mind, it is it is taken here. Those points it is chosen in random way because I am using the rand function. What I am doing here, I am giving those points on the positive z axis also, and then also using the rand function and select random points from this group and give it opposite normal direction on the z axis on the minus z on the minus z axis on the plus z axis okay so it is very simple and easy code so <coughs> sorry so after that as you can see if i will turn on the display flag on this point and see the normal so you can see so for example here you can enable this line and if you enable it it will give point this minus value on the z axis but in fact you can ignore it so basically what I am doing here I am using opposite value for the normal on the z axis so the main idea it is to give the point this in random way uh, normal on the x or on the minus x on the z or on the minus z as you can see and what I'm doing right after that, you can ignore right now this attribute transfer node. I will connect it directly here. I have the cigarette here. And the size for the cigarette it is 0 0.8 by 0 0.8. Try not to change it. And one other thing I would like to notify about it, that there are some expression, the cigarette node here. It is driven by this small expression here. Just the size of the grid it is based on the rows and columns in fact it's based on the columns as you can see so the columns it is the variable that it is drive everything here for the cigarette the size and the rows as you can see so i will copy this i will disable this edit node here and copy the cigarette to this point so nothing it is special here as you can see 
but inside this edit node what I'm doing here if I turn on the display flag here in this edit node I am give those pointers here on the z-axis some offset if I will go in the wireframe mode you can see I am giving those two pointers offset by 0 0.3 if I will turn on the display flag here again and go in this mode you can see what we have see so you can see the effect for this edit node here see and right now 0 0.3 it is enough after that I'm using this clip node the direction right now in the x-axis and here there are some expression based on the size of the grid as you can see it is the size multiplied by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 to cut everything here as you can see enable and disable this node here it will give you the effect as you can see here another clip node on the z axis as you can see the direction in the z and here the size also in the z and other clip node for the minus x and other one for the minus z axis after that what I'm doing here is just give it some translation on the y by minus 0 0.01 this is nothing just for the boolean node to work correctly <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry <coughs> and what I'm doing here it is uh, you can ignore this one right now also and what you can do remesh let me show you what we have see and also here there are color if I'll turn off the color the geometry color so you can see how it looks it looks like that okay so after this remesh node I am taking grid again and this grid size also it is based on the original grid it is a little bit bigger than as you can see small amount here going outside the original grid and small here from the same st the same amount from the other side okay so after using the boolean node this is what we have as you can see I guess it should be uh -huh. and then uh, if I would come here In fact, here what I'm doing, I am calculating the area, and if the area is smaller than 0 0.05, delete it. In fact, there are nothing here, but maybe if I will change here the seed, let me just change the seed. Let us check. Sometimes it gives me some small pointers. No, it is not here. Okay. So, this blast node here is just for remove the very small area because sometimes there are some just like dot fuse node you can ignore it and here give it a color and poly extrude in the 3D you can see it like that. And uh, right now to make it so logic for this node for this maze what we need in fact I need a path from this side to this side to be open if you can see here there are nothing open here so going from here there are it will be stuck from here stuck from here it will be stuck here and everything everywhere here it will be stuck somewhere here so to make it logic what I add I created another grid here and delete some groups in fact here see based on this group here I am deleting it and before deleting it what I am doing I creating I created this start node here the start group sorry one single point another one single point here somewhere 
and there are in the group it is the whole stuff here the whole point is here in the bottom and uh, using the find shortest path as you can see from any start to each end I'm getting those lines here as you can see I am calculating what is the length sort by the length or the area here as you can see this is in fact the perimeter the length for all these primitives and keep just first two and here to just give it it a normal for those one in fact I guess this one we can ignore no sorry we cannot ignore because we are inheriting this normal using the attribute transfer so transfer this normal from this line here from those lines to those our point is here so as you can see right now all the points on this line here it will be aimed by this one here see see the effect of this node if I connect this one here this is good and after that what I'm doing after creating the maze the maze sorry I am doing uh, I am creating here sweep node along those path and also the width here it is 0 0.8 using boolean node and connect it here to this remesh node and enable it here and in this case you can see we have those points for those small area of primitives that we can remove right now see it is removed right now and here it is as you can see right now this is the path from where we can go from this side to this side and keep in mind that we can come here in the seed changing the seed and every time we change the seed we changing what is the we can solve like these issues it's not so big issue but basically for now I will just change the seed and you can see for example this path here this is the path where you can going from this side to this side this one I guess it is much nicer because as you can see it is a little bit complicated path and keep in mind also you can come here to the seed here and changing the overall shape of the of the maze but the saving path it is the same see it is from here I can for example turn on this as selectable template and you can come here to the seed change it and here it is and here it is our maze generated and here it is the path sorry not this one here it is the path how to going from this side to this side so I hope you like this tutorial it is simple and easy you can also as you know you can come here make it bigger see it is work correctly and you can make it smaller but you need to manipulate those groups here in this case you can see yeah I guess this one is good maybe bigger a little bit yeah this one is good okay sorry guys so okay this is how we can create maze in Houdini and how we can draw the path for solving this maze okay thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial bye bye